Hello everybody, hey ladies, it is Kim Yetta, uh, and I'm actually not in my prayer closet today. I have been in my prayer closet, um, but I know you all are not used to seeing my face, you're used to hearing my voice. Welcome to my channel, it's still my channel. Um, on my channel, we do three things. We pray, we study God's word, and we provide tips to help you live your life victoriously if you stumbled upon my channel. It was not by accident. I pray and I actually ask God to put my channel in front of the women that need my channel. So if you need prayer or Bible study tips, then hit the subscribe button. Go ahead, hit it. <laughs> anyway, you all can tell I'm actually in my vehicle, in my SUV, and I'm actually outside um, the dentist office, my kid's dentist office. My son has braces, so we're at one of his braces appointments, and I'm in my car, and instead of posting a prayer, I post prayers Monday through Thursday, as you all know who are rocking with me every single day. But today is a little bit different. Um, I was just about to just record a morning prayer like I normally do, and the Holy Spirit really prompted me to share my testimony on how we got our house why? Because so many women are watching my prayer video for prayer for a new home. If you have not seen that video and you are praying and believing God for a new house, then I'm going to link it somewhere or, and I'll definitely put it at the end of the video. If you haven't prayed that or if you've only prayed it once, please, please, please. But the Bible says we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. So please, um, I have never shared this testimony publicly and I want to share it. In fact, I feel so strongly about this. I am going to take this link and every single woman that has commented on my prayer for house video, y'all, I'm praying with you. I'm going to actually try to get this to you today by posting it underneath each of your names okay but i'm gonna tell y'all my testimony and i pray that it helps you it builds your faith i needed this type of testimony to help me y'all see the sun is coming out it was supposed to be a thunderstorm in, in georgia let me reposition this can y'all see that sun that georgia sun is coming out see i got on this wool hat because it was all rainy and yucky when I was out, but now it's all hot. So anyway, hopefully y'all can see me. I'll adjust the camera. Um, so anyway, back to what I was saying. Let me tell you my testimony. Um, my husband and I um, were living in one area. Um, and in that area, it was nice, but it wasn't like amazing. But it was nice. We had bought a house there. It was our... Uh, third house. We had a condo, a co-op in New York, and then we had bought a house uh, here in Georgia. And then this was our, we had bought another house uh, a few years later. And we bought that house when I was pregnant with my second son. And he is 13 now. Yeah, March 13. So we were been living in that house for years. My husband had done a ton of work on that house. And I need y'all to hear the key elements, okay? We were fixing the house up in the hopes to maybe sell it and make a little bit of profit. And we wanted really to upgrade to something a little bit nicer. We were not, um, it wasn't a bad area or anything, but we knew in our hearts it was time for a change. So what did I do? Y'all, I went to my prayer closet. You're going to hear that a lot because that is the theme here. I prayed, um... This was back in 2015, and the Lord placed this phrase on my heart. Believe me for a grand home, a grand home. I wish I had um, my thing. I may post it when I edit the video. Anyway, so I made a very small eight and a half by 11 uh, kind of dream board for what I wanted in a house. I wanted a house in a really nice neighborhood, okay? My daughter said she wants a house with um, where we have sidewalks where she can skate and ride her bike because in our other house, there was no sidewalk. So I wasn't letting her ride her bike in the street. So um, I also put, I wanted a house with a big island in the middle, a kitchen. 
I also put a picture of um, a study. I wanted a library in my house with beautiful bookshelves. That was my vision. I put that there. I wanted a place where I could pray and I could write books and Bible studies. I, I, I wrote that down and I put a picture of it there. Um, I wanted um, a house that was beautiful lawn. I put all of that. I put that on my dream board along with some other stuff. All right, that was 2015. I put it in my prayer closet, prayer closet again. And y'all, I just prayed. And I say, God, if it's your will for me to have these desires of my heart based on Psalm 37, 4, will you make it so clear? We were living in a decent house, but I was believing God for more. And he said, believe me for a grand home. Fast forward, I was in my prayer closet uh, in May of 2019. In my prayer closet, the Lord impressed it up on my heart. Go now. Put the house on the market now. And I'm just like, okay. And the Lord told us what agent to use. I, I, my, it was five o'clock in the morning, y'all, in my prayer closet. I ran in the kitchen. My husband was sitting at the kitchen table getting ready for work. I said, honey, the Lord just put it on my heart so strong. We need to put the house on the market now. He was like, oh, the house isn't ready, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, God has given me a sense of urgency. Go now. I don't know if I knew houses around the corner, but we got to go. We got to do it. And my husband said, okay, we called the agent over. We had a great meeting with him. We put the house on the market. We didn't even do any more work, y'all. Put the house on the market. And within two days, within two days, we hadn't even found a house yet. Within two days, we had started getting offers on our house. And we're like, oh, junk. So we started looking for our home. Remember, God told me, believe him for a grand home. I told my kids, and that's how we began to pray at night. Grand home, grand home, grand home. Believe God. My son who plays basketball, he said, I want a house that has a nice size for a basketball court. Because our current house didn't have a nice driveway that he could play basketball because it was slanted. My teenage, my oldest son, he was like, he wants a big room because my sons always shared a room their whole life. And so he wanted his own room. He wanted to be big. Everybody was believing God for a grand home. That's what I was teaching my kids. And I was teaching them to pray for that. Here I go. I'm talking about praying again. So fast forward, we found a house that we liked. Everybody liked the house with the exception of my uh, my oldest son who was 14 at the time he's 16 now i think david was 14. david said to me mom is this a grand home are you gonna pay three hundred thousand dollars for a house that's not a grand home didn't you tell me to get a grand home i was thinking to myself when he start listening to me y'all following me i'm like you know how teenagers are and we had called our agent to make an offer on this house that we thought was it, but he was right. And he was like, mom, you're believing too small. This, is, this house is not the house. My husband was good with the house. My daughter, my other son, my husband, we were ready to go. But God, but God used my oldest son to say, you're thinking too small, Kimetta. Anyway, y'all know how it is when you're looking for a house to buy or a house to rent. Y'all know how it is. It can be so frustrating and it can be frustrating because it can take, you can, it takes so long. And so I'm looking at hundreds of houses. Y'all, I became frustrated because our house, we're getting ready to close and we had no house. So my husband and I were like, well, maybe we should rent for a year while we keep looking. The Lord in my prayer closet placed it on my heart to fast. Stop looking. Y'all heard me. Y'all, I stopped looking and I fasted for three days. I didn't fast food or liquids and all of that. Guess what I fasted from? Checking real estate uh, listings. I didn't go on Zillow and Trulia. You know all the websites, realestate.com, realtor.com and all of that. Because I was looking for a house to rent or to buy. But there was a contradiction in my mind because one side of my brain was saying grand home. That's what God said. But the other side was like, we got to move soon because the, the, the people who are going to buy a house, they're ready to move in. So the Lord needed me to calm my anxious spirit. Y'all get that. 
The Bible says, be careful, you know, uh, you know, don't be anxious for anything, but in everything with prayer and supplication to make your request known to God. So I had become like really anxious, y'all. Y'all, I'm so sweaty. I had become anxious about this whole house thing. Y'all, I went, took three days and I fasted from looking. My middle son, I said to him, he has to me, I don't want to freak anybody out, but I think he has like a little prophetic gift because my son, I'll say stuff to him and he'll already have kind of seen it. For example, a few years ago, they were in an accident when they were little, little boys. And he was like six. And I was like, Mark, what color van do you think, do you think we're going to get? He said, mom, I see us in a gold van. That's what we're going to get. You know, he'll say stuff like that. And he just calls it deja vu, but I think God's giving him something. I said to Mark, I said, hey, I was frustrated. And during this fast, I said, Mark, um, where do you think we're going to move to? He said, what are our options? So I named off like eight cities. He said one of the cities. He said, that's what we're going to move to. And it was a city that I really didn't want to move to. I was like, eh, never mind. Because the city I really wanted to move to was not a part of God's will, which I'll get to. We went to church, to church that Sunday of my fast, and we were talking to some people. And we, my husband and I said, hey, pray for us because we need to find a new house, and we're not sure where God wants us to move to. The gentleman said, you're going to move to blank. It was the same city my son had said, y'all. I was like, hmm. So when my three days were up, I said, well, why don't I just put this city in to Zillow? Four o'clock in the morning, my three-day fast was up. All I did was pray. I didn't look for a place. Three days later, middle of the night, three, four o'clock in the morning, I put in this name of that city that my son had spoken prophetically. And a house popped up. Y'all, the house was a little bit above our price range, grand home. Y'all, the house blew me away. The house had a private library. The house had a pool. By the way, we wanted a house with a pool in the subdivision. We didn't want a pool in the backyard. This house had a pool in the subdivision and it had a pool in the backyard. This house had two fireplaces. This house had a private library. This house had a teen suite that was humongous this it was in an amazing neighborhood near a new movie studio that's being built here in georgia this house was had a big place for a basketball court this house was fenced in i mean when i'm looking at the house i'm going oh my god i woke my husband up i said you gotta see this house my husband said let's not look at it let's make an offer right now the house had just gone on the market about an hour at four o'clock in the morning fast forward we went to see the house. As soon as I walked in, I got a video of me, y'all, walking in that house. I just started praying in the spirit, laying hands on the wall. My realtor was laughing at me. I was like, this is our house. Y'all, I went in the, y'all, listen, I said, I want a private library. Now we are, God has blessed us financially, but we ain't just rolling in the dough. Are you following what I'm saying? Um, we, 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 not millionaires by any stretch of, not even close. So to believe God for a private library, when that's not even in our income, are y'all following me? But God said, believe him for a grand home. I lay hands on that house. Then my husband came, my husband put my, uh, my husband, all of that house, this our house. Fast forward, that house got 11 offers in 24 hours. That's how awesome the house was. And that's how beautiful the neighborhood was. 11 offers in 24 hours. My husband and I went on a fast. We said, we're not going to eat. And we're going to be on our face. And so we were fasting and praying and crying out to God for the house. Our realtor said, he said, you know, Kimietta, why don't you all write a letter to the homeowners explaining how this is your dream house. So we wrote a letter to the homeowners. Little did we know the homeowners were a married couple that had been married almost 20 years like me and my husband. They had two sons and a daughter just like me and my husband. How about that, y'all? Look at God. So then our realtor got back to us and said, Kimietta, it's down to you all 
and one other family. They're trying to decide. And I was like, that's Jesus right there. That's Jesus. The favor of God is on me. And so I start confessing favor scriptures. Are you following me? I'm in my prayer closet. I'm confessing favor scriptures. I'm fasting. I'm doing a lot in the spirit realm to bring my house to pass. Are y'all following me? I wasn't just doing the natural. L long story short, I'm trying to get through this, y'all. So what I did was is that they wanted us to consider both couples uh, well, they said, make your very best offer. So I went to church that Sunday, not the church I was attending at the time, but one of my friends, Jamika, her church. And as I'm driving to her church, you know, God gave me exactly what to offer to stretch a little bit, to stretch a little bit but also the contingencies to eliminate all contingencies. I'm driving. I'm like, okay, God, okay, Lord, I hear you. We did all of that. The day before they were making that decision on who would get this beautiful house, I was driving my kids from swim lessons and the Lord placed it on my heart. I'm praying and driving. And the Lord said, y'all, I'm going to try not to cry. Oh, Jesus. He's so good. Y'all. He said something to the effect of, will you still love me if you don't get the house? Y'all, I pulled over on that side of the road. I was coming from Rex, Georgia. I don't even know what city I was in because my kids' swim lessons were kind of far. I pulled over in somebody's church, a little bit of church's parking lot, and I got out. And I started walking around the parking lot and I started praising God. Whew, I'm going to try not to cry. And I began to tell God, you know, this process has drawn me closer to you. So even if I don't get this house, you're still God. Come on, y'all hear me? This can be applied to if you want a husband, if you want a promotion. I, it dawned on me. I said, you know what? Yes, I want this grand home. Yes, we want the pool. We want the this. We want the that. But I want Jesus more. And I said, God, I don't have to have this house to praise you. I'll have my kids praising you for the process. And so my three kids sat there and I had two teenage sons and they were just like, there go mom. I got out and I walked around praising God, telling him how much I loved him, telling him how much I appreciated him, telling him that it didn't matter whether I got this house. Cause I knew no matter what he was going to take care of me and my kids and my husband. Are y'all following me? I was praising God, crying, walking around somebody church's property, giving God the glory before anything happened. 24 hours later, we're coming from swim lessons. My realtor called me, sounding sad. He said, Kimietta, uh, let me get your husband on the three-way. And I said, yes. He said, you got the house. Woo! Yo! Yo! Come on! He said the couple chose you all. He want They want you all to get that house. Y'all. And so, y'all, right now, y'all look at the sun going down. I'm almost done. I'm sorry it's so long, but I hope it blesses you. Let me tell you. I mean, the sun really went. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you that. And so, do y'all know every day. I wake up and walk downstairs. My mom would tell you, my mom said when she was with me, staying with me last week, she was like, you love your house. I said, I love my house. I love my house. I took a picture of my mom sitting. Hold on, y'all. My son is calling me. I got to stop the video and then redo it. He must be ready for me. So hold on, y'all. I'm going to do a, a final thing. 